All right, guess who got version 13.2, this guy. Tap break to confirm. Now I'm in my garage, so let's go. Excited to see what this version's all about. Hopefully it's cracked up to be what everyone says it was, but I have heard reports after it's uh, coming out to a lot of people that they're having some problems. Some of the same problems that I've talked about before about uh, kind of decision making on which land they should be in. Okay, it's actually already better. It comes all the way up to the stop sign and stops and goes. Before, it would stop like, uh, I don't know, 10 feet back where you couldn't see anything. Hmm. That was much better already. And actually, the acceleration, I just realized that it didn't like pull me back into the seat where it's just like, whoa. Uh, I don't know if. Hmm. I have it in hurry mode. Super smooth. Oh my goodness. That actually is awesome. So you can't feel it in the camera, obviously, but I can. Um, you can see it in how it sped up if you're looking at the miles per hour, but it is so smooth acceleration now. Previously, every single time it would accelerate, essentially would be going like half throttle where it throws you back in the seat all the way up past the speed limit. But right now, showing the speed limit is 25 though, which is inaccurate, so. It is so smooth. Holy smokes. Super smooth of a stop. It was smooth, super smooth back there around that corner where usually it's kind of slows down a little awkward. Oh my goodness. Again, it's super smooth from a stop. It doesn't throw me back in my seat where it's just like a roller coaster. Like, I accepted it because, you know, I don't know. It's driving itself, right? But didn't, I actually talked about in one of my videos that I wish there was an option to not accelerate super fast, like a super smooth one. And that's what we're getting right now is super smooth acceleration. Holy smokes. All right. And I noticed the light change and again, super smooth deceleration right now. So far, I'm pretty darn pleased. Now, I'm curious to see its lane selection abilities and also when I'm getting close to getting off the highway, the last version kept wanting to get back on the highway even though we were in the correct exit for some reason and I don't know if that problem is going to be solved. I just can't get over the acceleration from a stop. It's just so smooth. It cannot see potholes though. I just ran over that pothole <laughs> at a slow speed because we we're stopping, but I wish it could see potholes. Let's see if it gets over faster too. Before it would wait to the very end of this lane to get over. And it looks like it's getting over sooner. Before it would wait all the way till now to get over, until it's forced. That's good. And it, again, it was super smooth acceleration all the way up to speed. Hurry mode, we're going 71 and at 55, 72 and at 55, holy smokes. It, you know, it asked, uh, it says the recommended um, speed offsets 40%. I think I'm gonna have to lower that because we are freaking cruising at 73 right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop her down to 25. Okay, let's do some math here. 10% uh, 
percent of 55 is five and a half. 20 percent is 11 miles over. And that's kind of all I really wanted to do. So I don't know, I'll leave it at 25 right now. 25 percent. 40 percent is way too much leniency going 70 something on the highway. Here's our three lanes. We need to be in the far right lane um, right now, and we're starting to get over. We should be getting over again right now. There's no reason to hang out in the middle lane any longer. We don't have any traffic to our right, so at this time it doesn't matter, but if it was super busy, I would want to get over now. This seems to have the same problem as the previous version for planning route planning. It needs to get over on the right lane. It's getting over there now with time to spare, but I, there's just no reason for it. Like, if, if it would have been busier and there was a bunch of traffic, we could have missed our exit or we had to force our way in. All right, now, so right up here, right before we get to where this car is about, it wants to get back over in the left lane, and it's not doing it this time. So there must have been a, a problem with a previous version where it would want to get off the highway right here, which was super annoying. But it looks like they fixed it in this version. And previously, we would actually slow down pretty hard coming onto this little hill off this off ramp. And right now, we're accelerating like a normal car. So, oh my God, it's so smooth. Like, and before it would really have a hard deceleration, then a hard acceleration, and a hard deceleration. And all as I can say right now, this version is so smooth. Smooth stops, smooth smooth accelerations, smooth everything right now. I am a happy camper at the moment. I know it's probably in my head, but it even feels like the tires are rolling smoother. <laughs> it's a weird, I don't know. It's gotta be a placebo effect, but it just feels like the car, even going at a constant speed, is smoother somehow. Very nice, smooth transition to this right. Uh, no jerkiness going around this little corner here, whereas last time, the steering wheel just kind of, you know, does its weird jerky turn. This bus stop right here. This guy in front of us thought about going around. Now we're in the intersection, which isn't great. And we were in the intersection when the light turned green for the, the other car crossing, with the crowds crossing traffic, and we were stuck in the intersection. So maybe could have stopped when it saw the car stop ahead of us and waited for it to clear. We could, we could have taken a left sooner, but we waited for this car, which was nice. It turned into to the closest lane, which I would say half the time it turns into the furthest lane for some reason. So I don't know if this version is going to get it right of always being in the closest when turning. Well, it seems to want to be in this lane, maybe because it has less traffic. Hurry mode. But again, way down here, we do have to be in the left lane to take our left turn. So I'm curious how long it will wait to get back over. So we did get over in the left lane pretty early on, which is good. Um, what I'm curious on is previous, the previous version would not turn into my work parking lot it would just say done on the street so I don't know if this will do any better that might be a mapping thing where it won't put a line into the parking lot um, I guess we'll find out <laughs> that's kind of interesting it uh, didn't cut that corner there. It kind of went around like there was a car there. I mean, 
that's good practice habits, but kind of interesting to note. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Yeah, it started to turn into the bike lane, which it has never done before. So there is the first disengagement, almost a perfect record all the way here. Wow, that was bad. Uh, I'm not gonna let it park way over here. But anyways, yeah, that, um, so, conclusion. Uh, version 13.2.2.1, super duper smooth. Um, they did fix some problems I had with the last version, 12.5.4.2, which was poor planning, which I'm, I can't say is fixed in this one yet, but at least this trip it was. Um, the super smooth acceleration and deceleration, that actually is probably my, uh, the biggest plus I see so far is how smooth it is. Um, now, <laughs> it made that left turn like it was turning into the bike lane and there's like a little post in the ground, you know, to prevent that. So I don't know if I kept, if I kept letting it do what it wanted to do, if it would see the errors of its ways, but there was also the concrete medium that it wasn't gonna be able to, to go around unless I intervened. So it had never done that in the previous version. So it seems this version, something broke with that. So um, yeah, that wasn't good. I'm gonna have to test that again to see if it is consistent going into the bike lane so first critical disengagement in this version um, but overall pretty happy with how smooth uh, this was thanks for watching